This video demonstrates the use of infrared spectroscopy, also known as IR. IR is used to assist in identifying functional groups and organic molecules. Before you can run an IR spectrum, a background must be run. The background takes an IR signature for the molecules present in the atmosphere. Before you run the background scan, make sure there is no liquid or solid on the IR window. This is how you run the background. Click the measurement button on the left corner of the screen. From there, you have two options. Click Start Background Measurement to start the background scan. Once it tells you that it is finished, you can load the sample. To load the sample, place one drop on the window. Note, always remember to wear gloves. Now you can click Start Sample Measurement. If you wanted to continue through all 24 scans, click Start Measurement on the bottom left corner of the screen. Once all scans have been completed, change the display from absorbance to transmittance using the button on the left. To adjust the y-axis, click the scale button on the top menu. If you want to do peak picking, click the evaluate tab on the left corner of the screen and click peak picking. Peak picking shows you the wave numbers for each peak. If your spectrum does not show all the wave numbers you want, choose the arrow besides peak picking and choose Interactive Peak Picking. In order for it to work, right-click somewhere on the spectrum and left-click on the cursor so you can change the threshold. If you want to print your spectrum with the labels, click Store. You can now print your spectrum by checking the Print button and clicking Go. The Unload button should also be checked so that the display is cleared for the next person. After you have finished taking your spectrum, Remember to properly clean the IR for the next student to use. This is our printed spectrum. The amount of light transmitted is plotted on the y-axis and the frequency in units of cycles is plotted on the x-axis. The peaks on the spectrum help us to identify the different functional groups in the molecule. Each peak is associated with a different wave number. These wave numbers correspond to the energies needed to stretch and bend the bonds of the molecule in question.